Everyone these days talks about how they're making millions of dollars, they're flying in private jets, they're driving Ferraris, but you know what? That's a bunch of bullshit. For all those people that are making money, they've made mistakes and probably have lost millions and millions of dollars. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you how I lost a million bucks by the time I was 21 years old. I don't really discuss my personal life online. You see me discussing a lot of business stuff, but this is one of the first times I'm gonna open up and discuss one of my own personal stories. I had an ad agency when I was 16 years old. I learned internet marketing on my own because I got ripped off from other agencies. They couldn't do one simple thing, which was rake me on Google. And yes, that is really hard right now, but when I was 16 years old, that was one of the easiest things to do. And I was paying thousands of dollars to people who couldn't even add keywords to my own website. So eventually I had to learn it on my own and I got good at it. But from there, I learned that I hated being a consultant. So I decided that I wanted to create a company. And you know what this company did? It was so revolutionary. At least right now you may think it is. It's cloud computing. But back then there really wasn't any cloud computing solutions. Now I'm not saying that I deserve the credit for the cloud computing category because I really didn't do shit. I had an idea, I invested over a million bucks in it, I lost it all and it failed. And I'm gonna share with you the main reasons on why I lost that million dollars and what you should avoid so you don't lose money like I did. So the first thing that I ended up learning was ideas are a dime a dozen, but it's all about execution. The idea for cloud computing, because I was like, wait, I'm getting all this traffic from the social web. Why is it that I have to keep buying all these servers? Why can't I keep scaling up and down and being way more efficient and costly, right? So I wanted to create a system where all these servers were combined together and everyone would share server resources. As you can see with companies like Amazon Web Services, and they're doing brilliantly well. But here was the thing, the idea was amazing, but the people that I was working with who claimed to know all about hosting and cloud computing, they weren't executing. And because they weren't executing, Nothing ever got done and the business never launched. And I have a question for you, and you tell me what you think the answer is. How much money do you think you can make from a company that never releases? Zero. The second reason is I picked the wrong people. These people weren't scrappy. They were used to working in the corporate world like at companies like Microsoft. And you know what happened? There's nothing wrong with Microsoft or Google executives or employees. But a lot of times they're used to doing things in a really expensive manner. They want to spend, spend, spend. But that's not the reality. You can't just keep spending money. You got to make it as well. And these guys wanted all the best solutions. Like we had big servers and racks from Sun Microsystems. They didn't want to use code locations are like we need to create our own centralized location get our own bandwidth and pipeline and all this kind of fancy stuff and that was where a lot of the fixed costs came and I was sending money for my hard-earned business every single month so much so when I say I lost a million bucks I technically lost more than a million bucks I lost a million bucks of borrowed money not investor money borrowed money which means I had to pay it back and what's crazy is I paid it back in less than a year but that's a totally different story I don't want to go into how I made money because I hate talking about how I make money but you know what if you guys leave likes and comments and I get over a thousand likes I'll share with you on how I made a million bucks in less than a year the next tip that I have for you guys is Time is money. Execute as fast as possible. You know what? You're gonna have competitors. I don't care if you have them right now. The question is just when. So if you can execute and stay ahead of the competition, you're gonna be much better off. There's a thing, the person who's the first to market is much more likely to do better because they're getting all the press, the branding. So execute as fast as possible. The other reason that I lost a lot of money is I was in over my head. I didn't pay attention to other people who are around me. See, similar to me, you're surrounded by people. My parents were giving me advice. I'm like, mom, dad, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm like, I'm gonna keep funding this and putting in more money. My parents are like, you're crazy. You're just gonna lose all your money. And I kept borrowing more and I kept losing more. They were right. I was getting feedback from entrepreneurs and I was ignoring all the people who are around me. I was too in it. If you're getting feedback from people who are around you, even if they don't understand the business, they do understand human interaction, emotion, psychology, right? Because they're here on this earth interacting with thousands if not millions of people. So when they give you advice, I'm not saying you have to take their advice, but 
you should consider it. And if you consider their advice, then what you'll see is you may make less mistakes. And the last thing I have for you is learn from your mistakes. When these guys kept making mistakes, I kept being like, all right, that's fine. And they didn't learn from them and they kept making them over and over and over again. And I didn't say anything. But if people or you can't avoid making the same mistakes over and over again, how are you gonna learn and ever succeed? You need to make the right decisions and the right moves to make money. That's why I lost a million dollars. And as I mentioned, if you guys like this video and I get over a thousand likes and you guys comment and share it, I'll release a video sharing how I made my first million bucks, what you can learn from it, and how you can do the same too. So I'm gonna be creating more videos like this. Make sure you subscribe, follow my page, and you know what, I'll be here over the next few days teaching and hand-holding you and making sure you're succeeding through your entrepreneur journey and getting more traffic to your website.